So I thought while I'm at this, I might as well put uh, all of the uh, filters in. surprised that this wobbles around the way it does and it's kind of loose in there so it's really not what I expected um, I would have thought that that would have been mounted more securely um, and when this and that's attached, it's not touching on there, so it's not even going to keep positive pressure on there, so... Um, doesn't appear to be any kind of manual in here that discusses how that goes, so... I will... Uh, just have to think about what is going on there. I mean, it doesn't come out, so I'm, I'm just surprised about that wobble in there. I mean, to, good, by comparison, the S-Big version, there are detents that, uh, as as this the filter wheel actively positioned itself, it would it would always sit exactly in the same spot. There would be no movement whatsoever. There wouldn't be any play in any of this. Um, uh, I don't know how this positions itself, but it all seems quite free, free moving. So uh, I guess we'll see when it comes time to, to use it. All right, let's go with, uh, one is L luminance. Oh, look, the real question is, should I be screwing it in this way or should it be coming from the other side? I don't know. I'm gonna go with, it makes some semblance of sense to be on that side. Okay. Red in number two, green number three. I don't know if there's a standard way that these should be done, but I'm just gonna go with things that I will remember because I will remember LRGB, so I'm gonna keep them in that order. All right. Again, I'm not really sure the order that I would do this, but I'm going to go with HA because I'll remember that. I think I will go with O3 and S2. Yep, I don't know what else to do with... Uh, with this other than just screw it together um, see where we end up <laughs> yeah, this wobbling is just so weird and I'm not going to ever get used to it I don't think so <laughs> it's just going to be strange um, okay so I'm not going to try and mount the camera on there just yet because um, I have no idea what the spacing uh, should look like. Um, so I'm going to go and do a little bit of digging um, to work out what the back focus needs to be on all of this. Um, so I'll do a bit of research and get it on the telescope.
Alright, so this is what is happening with this. It's, you've, you've seen the issues um, that I'm having in terms of it just going to random places and stuff. The only thing I can think of is that that is not screwed down. And just by touching it, yeah, it's completely just loose. Like, <laughs> it's not screwed in at all. So, although I should probably send it back, I'm just going to literally, not even going to do this with a screwdriver, I'm just going to use my fingernail and just tighten it up that much. And that's, well, completely stop the wobble. I mean, that was a quarter of a turn. It's a little bit insane. So, I'm gonna just do retest this, although, you know, I was gonna end up having to send it back to Bintel because I want to have a look at it, um, which is great. Um, I think that's probably overkill for what we're talking about here. So we're at the luminance filter and it actually went to the luminance filter this time, which was doing weird things before. So let's see if it goes to red in position two. And it's correct. Okay. So unlike the weird behavior that it was doing before, it appears to be going to the correct filters. I'm going to see if it goes all the way around or just goes back. It goes back. So it does seem to take the shortest direction. Okay. I think, uh, I think just tightening up that, literally with my fingernail, has done the job. So, I think I'm gonna keep hold of it, not send it back to Bintel, but Thanks for, to them for wanting to get it sorted immediately before Christmas break. So uh, I reckon I'm going to keep hold of it because I reckon it's probably sorted.